Is it just is it cool being there as well, or does it all just yeah, suck all the time? It's fun. Oh, okay. Either way, we get there, and uh, we start setting up. And then the first night, um, we're stuck with the duty of driving around in one of those side. Do you know what a side by side is? Uh, no. It's a golf cart that's like 508 horsepower. Not really, but like it's really fast. <laughs> 508 way, horsepower. Hey. Either way, we drive around in one of those, and we hand out garbage bags to all the people. So everything was going fine, and we saw a couple of drunks, and uh, we got to this one, this one, uh, these two people actually. They were standing together near a, a set of tents, so we thought they were theirs. And um, there was a girl and a guy, and the girl was obviously drunk out of her mind. I think the guy was also, but he was kind of doing the man thing and not really showing it. Yeah, I'm So I call him over, and I'm like, "Hey, could you come over here for a second? And Instead of like just coming over to me like a normal person would, the girl comes up to me, sits in my lap, and starts making out with my neck. Keep in mind that I'm 16 at the time. Dude, go get him. So, yeah, I feel kind of awkward here. I'm just talking to the guy while this is going on, nonchalantly. And this is his girl, badass. correct? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Just being a badass while well, this is going on. And I'm like, okay, hey, you got to keep these garbage bags around your thing. I'm doing anything to make sure that she stays on. I'm just, I'm keeping talking with them. Like, you have to make sure that all your friends are using this, right? And I'm like, here, I have some extras. And uh, my brother's sitting beside me giggling. And uh, He's eventually, cover. He's cover. Yeah. eventually, this guy, like, pulls the girl off me, which it made me feel so awkward. But it was also awesome as hell at the time. So that's what happened. I think I want to go to this place. It's fun. So, but, it's I mean, just, what do you do? You just... You get drunk and listen to cool bands. Huh. And it's, this is something your godparents have, for the most part. Well, uh, it's their son who runs it. Oh, okay. Um, now, is I, that son born into money? And born into, like, not working? Or he legitimately works his ass off to get this done? Uh, well, I don't want to speak bad about him. Okay, so that's all we got to say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, fair. Um, I can't but, he does work hard, very oh, that's hard. That's good. Then. Like it is a, it's a fucking hard job. It's a year-round thing organizing these. No, I mean I can, I can believe that. Oh, but the last one I got to, I got to meet a couple friends from, up, uh, Upper BC, who I'd only been talking through Skype with. Um, I don't know if you watched any of my videos with them, but uh, there was Benji three five five and Matt that sounds Egg and, uh, D Dubs SC or D Dubs. D Dubs. A, like the name. <laughs> his name is Donald, but he has a oh, well, kick-ass I like name. Donald. Donald. Donald? Yeah. But, or not Donald. Donald didn't come down. But some cool people did. Not a lot of fun. Good. Got really drunk. Okay, there was one night where... Um, actually, it was the second night. The first night, I was too tired to go out, right? Like, the bar is open till 3 a.m. Or not the bar. The dance tent's open till 3 a.m., the dance uh, tent. Oh, yeah, shit. they had DJs and shit in there. I got to see fucking the Bloody Beat Roots and Steve Aoki and LMFAO was supposed to be there, but they're chumps and they backed out. And um, Either way, so I uh, I think it was the second night or maybe the third night. I went in there with my friend... What was his name? Either way, I went in there with some friends and uh, we started dancing, having a good time. And then I'm like, okay, so I need to go get a drink. Um, Alcoholic or yes, yes, and my one of them went with me. And then he's, I'm like, okay, I'll buy you a drink. And he's like, no, I don't want anything. Well, I'm like, I got six tokens. That's that's a lot of drinks. Fucking six tokens, man. Yeah, and he's like, what are uh, tokens? Drink tokens. Oh, drink tokens. Are they expensive? Yeah. Uh, six bucks. Do you get them comped or no? You don't get the comped. No, I gotta purchase them myself. Shit. But I was kind of like, Matt and Uncle are generous, so they did help me out. But uh, either way, so I I'm like okay, well I need to grab some drinks. So I grabbed. I'm like I'm like, Kate, do you got what? What's the most alcoholic thing you guys got? He's of like, course, of course. <laughs> he's like, well, <laughs> we got tequila, and then we got some whiskey, and I'm like, well, I haven't really drank tequila too much, so I'm like, okay, I'll have a, I'll have two glasses of tequila because they they came out in plastic cups. <laughs> oh okay. So I got two things of, of tequila, then I'm like, well, bottoms up. So I do both of them. And then we go back dancing. Wait, you just, you just did them straight up like that? Yeah. They didn't have any limes or anything, so... Well, that seems kind of... All right. <laughs> bit extreme, I know. Yeah, right? I was going to say. And either way, um, one buddy's like, okay, we're going to get going now. And I'm like, what are you talking about? We got 
Like, it's still, it's only like one in the morning. He's like, yeah, but we're just going to go back and drink back at the tent. And I'm like, but I still got tokens. So I, went, <laughs> I need to get wasted. <laughs> so I went and I did the rest in tequila shots. And then we started walking back. And that was pretty cool. That was fine. I, was, I wasn't feeling too sick or anything like that. And then we got back. And as soon as we got there, I'm like, okay, I'm a bit, I'm a bit too drunk. So I walked back to my house, and the fucking security guard started harassing me because I had alcohol in my breath, obviously, because I'd just done tequila. And I'm like, no, I live at the house right there. He's like, I don't think so. I don't know who you are. And I'm like, buddy, I know who your boss is. I know, uh, what was his name, Coach. I can, like, I know, I, I, I'm related to Colin and all this kind of stuff. And he's like, I don't think so. So I had to end up calling uh, one of my relatives who was running the head of security, or not head of security, head of uh, the, 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 the the employees or whatever, volunteers. And she came and picked me up, and that was just a headache. Then the next, or, yeah, the next night... Um, but isn't no, this a place where people just get drunk? Yeah. So they thought you were just trying to go into the wrong house. They weren't stopping you for being yeah, they drunk. Thought I was, yeah, they thought I was just trying to get past him and doing a stupid stunt or something. So then the last night... Or maybe the second last. I can't remember. I can't remember which because I was ridiculously drunk. What ended up happening, I'm like, okay, guys, we're going to get drunk and getting all pumped and whatnot. So I went and I bought 12 tokens because <laughs> I, I was going to be generous. I'm a nice guy and I want to be Spread that shit around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm like, okay, so tonight we're doing whiskey. And they're like, all right, that's cool. And uh, I go there with Ben, Matt, and Luke. Or Brett. Uh, names aren't that important. It's more about the story. Yeah. And we go there, and uh, the we, we start dancing for a little bit, and then we go, and it's more like, you know, jumping up and down repeatedly. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. And then we, uh, we I'm like, okay, let's, let's all go to get a, a shot of whiskey. And they're like, okay, that sounds cool. So we went and all got one, and then I think Luke... No, Luke and Brett wanted to take off. And I'm like, how about this? Just do, like, one more thing of whiskey with me, and then we'll go back. And they're like, nah, I don't want to. And uh, then I'm like, okay, we'll come back later, though. And he's like, I don't think so. Your friends are being pussies. What the hell? Yeah. So I ended up doing six more whiskeys in a row. In a row. Yes. Just straight up. Just do, 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 do. And then we started walking back. About halfway there, I met my or saw my cousin, and he saw that I was just like, Starting to gone. starting to get no, I was starting to get gone, and he started talking to me, whatever. And then he's like, "Are you're you're drunk, aren't you?" I'm like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Are you high?" And I'm like, "No, I'm not. I'm not doing that this this year." And he's like, "Okay, good." So then uh, he lets me go on my way, and then I see my aunt, or one of my aunts, and I'm I'm starting to get right right there to drunk, and I'm talking with her for a little bit, and I'm like, "Okay, I gotta just go sit down for a little bit." I was like, I was getting to the point where I was gonna like just either throw up or something. You should just throw up on her and be like, "Yep." I'm drunk. <laughs> Either way, we get back. We end up getting back to the camp finally, and um, after a, a short little while, we uh, we we bring out some beers because I had bought a flat right before the weekend started, and we were drinking some at their place, um, at their little campsite. Is this a good all you time. do in Canada? You just get drunk all the time? It's all I do at a concert when I can. I guess um, that makes sense. So we start bringing out the beers. Then out of the blue, I get the idea: Hey, let's shotgun some beers. Because I had fucking a flat, right? That's 24. So yes, I, didn't, I, I went and decided, uh, okay, let's go and shotgun all these beers. So I uh, I do three beers on my own, and then I realize that no one else has been shotgunning beers with me. Just, you've just get been getting wasted on your yeah. own? Yeah. That's well, not really. I was, right, I was right in front of the fire, so they were like, they were still drinking and stuff, having a good time. and um, But you were mega drinking. I was going far. I was going hard. Either way... Um, I ended up getting like super, super hard drunk. Like this was ridiculous. I went and got another thing of tequila at the, the place because we went there and danced for a little bit, and uh, I ended up doing some dances with some pretty ladies, that kind of stuff. Now by dances you mean you stuck your dick in them while you were getting pretty down? Pretty much. Or, oh, okay, so. So all standard so, ritual stuff. And after that, all of a sudden they disappear. Like I'm, I'm still dancing in there, but I don't see anyone. <laughs> so I just keep dancing for a little bit. You're dancing by I, yourself. Yeah. Then I, well, no, you dance with people, right? Like you go ahead and get in a group and just be sociable. So I'm, I'm dancing. Sociable. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go home. So I try to stumble my way through security. It doesn't work again. This time, coach recognizes me though. He's like, okay, that's cool. So then he's like, a fuck. 
Yeah, so he's like, so this is the last time you're going to come and have a drink with me, okay? And I'm like, oh, God, yes, let's do it. So <laughs> we go, and we have another drink, and then he's like, okay, I'm going to bring you home. So he brings me home. I ended up uh, throwing my shoes, like, like just booting them against the wall because I wanted to get them off because they had mud on them. And uh, Makes sense. taking off my pants right there, not not even waiting until I got downstairs, took off my pants right there. Then I went and sat in the kitchen for a while. And just